I am really, really annoyed right now, guys. Because my audio editing software is just so freaking annoying. Just out of nowhere. Clicking. I don't know. I don't I don't know how it does this. I'm I what I I freaking saved the audio program. I closed it and then I had to restart my computer for updates and clicking. It just pops out of nowhere and it drives me crazy. I am very sorry for this guys. I do not know how to fix this now. Would it take like, you know, two more hours, you know, a lot a lot a lot of time and work and you know monotonous stuff I've already done to do this whole thing over again and start from scratch which is the only way I can fix this which is really really bugging me it's really annoying I really really don't like it <sighs> but anyway I'm this is so much you know what what I'm gonna do for you guys I'm going to put a text version of this uh, of this video in the description for you guys to check out if you can't stand the clicking, which I can I can completely understand. I'm freaking annoyed. I'm very, very sorry about this. I do not know how to prevent this. But anyway, about the actual episode and, you know, what we're talking about, Vile Plume from Browndries Crossed. A uh, very interesting card, of course. Multiplies your opponent's weakness. Very interesting card. Um, you know, it's mostly been considered as, you know, like a fun league deck card, but when I first saw it, I thought it was actually pretty good. So, you know, I tested it out, and yeah, here are the results of what I've tested out and what you can do to use in your Vile Plume decks. So what's the deal with this Vile Plume? Isn't that the thing that stops items? Sadly, no. We're not getting reprint of that monster of a card right after it was rotated. This Vile Plume has 140 HP, a fire weakness, Water resistance, three retreat, another terrible attack, and at least it's better than Dusk Nords, I guess. The ability is, of course, what we're here to look at. Allergy Panic states that all Pokemon in play have times four weakness instead of times two. It's similar in some ways to the item locking one, in that both players get a horrible defect, but the Vile Plume player is going to be more prepared for it. So, let's be that guy who's using Vile Plume and prepare for our opponent having times four weakness. So, let's take a look at some of the top decks right now see what they're weak to. Then we'll try to find the best Pokemon for each of those types. Electric is of course weak to fighting. The main attackers of Electric usually consist of Raikou, fighting weakness, Mewtwo, psychic, Zekrom, fighting, Rayquaza EX, dragon, Rayquaza, dragon as well, and Bouffant, fighting. Next we have Darkrai decks. This includes straight Darkrai and Hadrigan. Darkrai is weak to fighting, of course. Sableye is weak to nothing. Trakion is weak to grass. Hadrigan is weak to dragon. Shaman is weak to fire, and Cresselia EX is weak to psychic, some of the time. Kelvio Blastoise is next up for no apparent reason. Both of them are weak to grass, and the occasional Curum is weak to metal. For the fighting decks, Landorus is weak to water, Trakion is still weak to grass, as is his EX counterpart. Oh right, there's that deck with Tornadus EX and then their first ticket that everyone forgot about. He's weak to lightning, and Mewtwo is still weak to psychic. And to add on one more, Empoleon is weak to lightning. So I'm sure you've figured this out even before I told you this, but the top decks are weak to fighting and dragon, those decks being Dark Ride and Electric. Grass seems to be another popular one. Psychic is always a prime target for weaknesses. Lightning has also popped up there a few times. Water and Metal have both had a few appearances as well. First, we'll look at a good fighting Pokemon. That should be easy. Landorus EX, Trakion EX, and Trakion are all very good at hitting for weakness. But since everything will be having a times 4 weakness, 90 damage is pretty pointless, so Terrakion is out. Tracking EX hits for 50, which with times 4 weakness is enough to one-shot anything that's weak to fighting. Landers EX has the lowest energy cost, but Hammerhead isn't doing significant damage to fighting weak things. Only 120. Land's Judgment does enough, but has some pretty high energy cost. Next up is Dragon. Rayquaza, Garchomp, and Rayquaza EX are 3 contenders. While Rayquaza EX does do enough to one-shot all of them just for two energy, that's two total, not two you have to discard. But since it's also weak to Dragon, other dragons will one-shot at it for two prizes. And the only point of using him in Vile Plume deck is to attack dragons, so the times for weakness will usually hinder Rayquaza EX more than the other dragon types. Garchomp seems to have the perfect attack, but it's a stage two. 
two stage two just to hit for dragon weakness isn't going to be worth it. Especially when you have a much better dragon type, Rayquaza from Dragon Ball. He does 40 for one, which is very close to one-shotting every dragon. But a plus power can fix that. He also doesn't have the drawback of being an EX, being a stage two, or needing more than one energy. Rayquaza is the clear winner of this type. For grass, we have Shaman EX, Virizion Emergent Powers, and Virizion Noble Victories. Shaman, after only one prize, can take out anything that's times four weak to it. But you don't want to be using Shaman in the early game. It also can't start doing damage until your opponent knocks something out. Virizion Emerging Powers heals itself for 120 damage after attacking a Pokemon that has times four weakness to grass. But it only has 100 HP, so that's not going to be very helpful. Brizian Noble Victories has double draw to help out with slow starts, or when you can't get the right Pokemon out. Leap Wallop is a plus power way from one-shotting every grass weak Pokemon, and can one-shot Blastoise without it, but if you can get two Leap Wallops in a row, then it won't be needing a plus power anymore. Next up, the Psychics. We have the infamous Mewtwo EX, Sigilyph, and Bellowetta. Mewtwo would be stupid, since it also gets the times 4 weakness, which is never good when the only thing you'll be using it against is other Mewtwo's. Sigilyph is pretty good at dealing with other Psychic Weeks, especially since most of them can't hit Sigilyph back for times 4 weakness, but it does take 3 energy to start attacking with it. Meloetta can one-shot things with times 4 Psychic Weakness if that Pokemon has 2 energy on it, and the times 4 weakness really won't affect it since it dies in 1 hit to every Psychic Pokemon anyways. For Lightning, they all really suck. There's Zekrom Black and White, Zapdos from X Destinies, and a Molga from Noble Victories. Zekrom does only do 20 damage on average, but he does do more if he can take a hit from something. Zapdos does one-shot any Pokemon that's lightning weak times four, but of course it takes three energy to power up its first attack, so yeah, that could be a problem. Amolga does 30 for one if there's a lightning Pokemon on your bench. If you want to try and fit in a stage one, we also have Substrika, Next Destinies, and Jolteon. Substrika with a plus power can win to KO any lightning weak Pokemon, except the Tornadus EX with Eviolite and Aspicious Gym, while providing some very good disruption with item lock. Jolteon can do 60 for 1 if you discard lightning energy. For water and metal, we've got Basplin, Max Destinies, Cryogonal from Noble Victories, and Kyurem EX for water, and Cobalion Noble Victories for metal. Basplin does 40 for 1, but only if the Fending Pokemon already has damage on it. It can actually do damage though, so all you need is one fight, then a Baird Fangs to KO a water weak Pokemon with times 4 weakness. Cryogonal from Noble Victories does 30 damage for 2 energy, but 40 more if the defending Pokemon is fighting, so it's perfect for Lander CX to take it out in one hit with times 4 weakness. This card was actually designed back in the day to take out another fighting Pokemon, which was a Dantan Prime, which was pretty popular back then, but now he's used to take out Landorus. Jeremy X does 60 for 3, so if you really hate Basculin, here's your next best thing. Cobalion does some decent damage to Kyurem's with times 4 weakness. It should one-shot them with energy press every time for the times for weakness. Since there were only two types left to cover, I'll just give you a few Pokemon for them as well. Fire can use Victini with V-Create, and Dark types can use Darkrai EX. Yes, our Dark types are that bad other than Darkrai. I guess there's also Bisharp and Noble Victories too. Now for the part where we make the deck. I think the best way to make a deck with this guy is just put some of the best attackers of the right type to be the top decks in either your personal meta or just overall. Here's the deck I fashioned up. The attackers I chose for this deck were Landorus EX, Rayquaza, Virizion, Basculin, and Meloetta. Landorus is fantastic for some early game pressure, as well as a great Pokemon to take down the two top decks, Darkrai and Electric. It's also your backup strategy in a way. If your opponent doesn't have any Pokemon that are weak to yours, you use Landorus, since it's your best attacker, assuming weakness won't be involved. The reason I chose Landorus over Trapdan EX is mostly because Landorus only needs one energy to attack. It's also better as the backup plan I talked about earlier. I pretty much already talked about the other attackers, so let's just get straight to the trainers. Since most of your attackers only do 40 damage rather than 50, which is just shy of knocking out EX Pokemon with their respective weakness, plus power allows you to get those one shots. 4 is very helpful to have. It makes it more likely you'll have it in your hand when you need it. A lot of Pokemon have a high retreat, so I included 3 switch, which is pretty standard. For the search, I have 3 Ultra Ball and 2 Heavy Ball. Ultra Ball is good for the all-purpose search card, and can discard Pokemon that aren't going to be hitting for that time for weakness during the game. As I said earlier, a lot of your Pokemon have high retreat, so I included Heavy Ball. Landers EX, Rayquaza, even Vileplume all have 3 retreat, so Heavy Ball seemed like a good fit for this deck, would it not? The Super Rod is just for emergencies. The 
supporters are 4 Juniper, 4 M, 3 Charon, and 2 Skyla. I've found that Skyla is usually better run in lesser amounts. 3 just seems too much for me for such a situational card. The energy line is 4 Prism, 2 Blend, W, L, F, M, 3 Fighting, and 2 Grass. Prism is great for substituting all types of energy. 3 of your 5 attackers use the W, L, F, M energy, so that's why it's there. I chose Fighting and Grass energy since Landers and Brizian are your best starters and the basic energies make it more likely we'll get a turn 1 Hammerhead or turn 2 Leaf Walla. So how exactly did my testing turn out? Meh, it's alright. I often just found problems getting out the correct attacker for their respective defending Pokemon, and some of the attackers just use too much energy to stream consistently, mostly Parisian, but the deck would be wrecked by Keldeo otherwise. I also rarely was able to get off a Shred or Lance Judgment. Not so much Lance Judgment. I guess you could also count Eloise's Echoed Voice, but I never tried setting that up because it's a pretty bad attack. I would definitely not recommend it for cities, but it's probably above the league of other fun league decks. I also tested out one more list of this deck, but I'm not going to go into much detail since I haven't really tested it much. It's basically a fighting variant with Bioplume as more of a tech. Here's the list. ho -Oh and Grass Energy are in case a Shaman EX decides to unleash Hell on your Terrakians. Landorus wouldn't be very helpful since Shaman has fighting resistance. I can't really say how good it is, I think I played two games against the Blastoise Keldeo deck, it went 1-1, one one. so you guys might want to consider trying it out if it sounds like your style. So, it appears you've made it this far in the video, and for those of you who have, congratulations for bearing through that horrible clicking. I'm so sorry guys, I'm, I really am. I, I'm really annoyed by this, and I'm really annoyed that I have to put this stuff on my channel. You know, I guess I don't have to, and I could do the whole thing over again, but I really don't want to. It's not that important to me, but it's still important to me. You know, it's, you know, wasting like three hours of my life, and then comes you guys, and then comes, I don't know what comes after that. I was thinking of something, I can't think of it now. Anyway, yeah, Bioplume, definitely a fun card to try. I don't think it will be very competitive, but as I said, it is a fun deck. And you can definitely have a lot of different combinations. Or you could just try having every single one of the Pokemon I mentioned in the deck. You're just having every single type to use. Those are always interesting decks. Because, of course, I've had problems with the, uh, you know, having some Pokemon. Encountering some that aren't weak to what I'm using. But, yeah. Uh, next episode, I'm really not sure what I'm going to do next episode. I might be doing like a cities preparation video since those are starting in like a couple days or my gird woo yeah I'll be, I'll be going to plenty of cities um and won't be going to any marathons just because i don't think there are many near the delaware area pretty sure they're all like flight like a flight away they're not any that i can drive to so i'm probably not going to go to one just because i really don't want to fly somewhere for you know like seven straight days of pokemon I could barely bear Nationals with all its stupid dark cry crap. I don't think I can take seven days straight of Pokemon. So no marathons for me. But, uh, yeah. If I don't do a Cities Preparation video, I definitely do have another deck uh, decided for what I'm going to do. But, yeah. So thanks for watching, all of you. And I'll see you guys for more Mix Up in the future. And good luck to all of you at Cities. Later.